Hey, good morning. Welcome back to our devotional time. Today we're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 25 through 35. And here's what it says. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. So he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. That was a prophecy, and it was certainly true. Because of Jesus, the thoughts of many hearts certainly are revealed, including yours and mine. Well, here's this man, Simeon. He's he's been shown by God, must have been a very spiritual man. He was in communion with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit showed him that you're, you're not going to die until you've seen the Lord's Uh, own Messiah, the Lord's anointed. And so he is led by the Holy Spirit to the temple. Apparently he wasn't there every single day, all the time, but he's led there the very day that Joseph and Mary, so Joseph and Mary are coming up the steps and Simeon is like already there because the Holy Spirit brought him there. And when he sees the baby, he he blesses him and all this we just read. And uh, notice the prophecy that comes. My eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples. See, Jesus didn't just die for Jews, or he didn't just die for uh, Caucasians. Jesus died for every single human person. He's prepared before all peoples uh, to bring a light, to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. So God is raising up people. He wants to bring everybody in so that we're all plugged in. We're all part of Israel. We're all part of God's kingdom. And yes, he's a sign which will be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce through Mary's heart because... Jesus is going to die, sacrifice for all humanity. Are our thoughts revealed by how we relate to this this sacrifice of Jesus? And maybe you've never uh, pursued this before. Maybe you've never read through the Gospels before. Maybe some of this is kind of new to you. All you know about Jesus is what you saw in the flicks, what you saw on on television, what you saw in in a video somewhere. Maybe that's all you know about Jesus. You know what? Go to the Bible. Go to the Bible and read those four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You'll learn a lot about Jesus, and you will say, if that is true, then my heart needs to be checking this out and making some some decisions. And so, friend, read your Gospels. Don't be ill-informed. Be well-informed, and God will bless you. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven today, uh, we are glad to see that you brought your your anointed one. And Simeon, before he died, was able to see him and, and prophesy and bless the parents, Mary and Joseph. Now, Lord, we just pray that you'll bless our hearts and draw our hearts close to Jesus. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. May God bless your heart today.